Okay guys, it's now time for part two of my Warner Brothers VHS Collection 2014 edition. And where we last left off, I showed you uh, Richie Rich. Now we're going to pick up with the 1995 VHS of Free Willy 2, The Adventure Home. That will be my dad vacuuming upstairs. Free Willy 2, The Adventure Home. The film is also from 1995. This, it's the sequel to the first Free Willy film. Smarter and more endearing than the original, the ideal family movie, says Karen James of the New York Times. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. A wonderful action-packed adventure, says Neil Rosen of NY1 News w, WLAG TV. And this is rated, uh... PG for mild language and mild peril and running time is 98 minutes. Here's the ink label. The print date is October 25th, 1975. And there you go. Free Willy 2. And next up is the 1997 VHS of Space Jam with Bugs Bunny and Michael Jordan. And this is the this is the 1996 film. Here's the spine and the back. Also has the rest of the Looney Tunes cast. Wild, wacky, jubilant, adults, teens, boys and girls will enjoy Space Jam, says Gene Shalit of the Today Show, NBC TV. And also stars Wayne Knight, uh, Teresa Randall, and Danny DeVito. Rated PG for some mild cartoon language, and it's 88 minutes long. The ink label. The print date is January 20th, 1997. Michael Jordan playing basketball with Looney Tunes. Epic. Alright. Next up is the 1997 VHS of Free Willy 3 The Rescue. The best of the Free Willy pictures, says Cisco and Ebert. I don't agree with them. Here's the spine and the back. A whale of a tail for the whole family, says David Sheehan of CBS TV. Rated PG for thematic elements. Rated PG for thematic elements involving whale hunting in brief language, and it's 86 minutes. I'll start. Jason James Richter, who's in the first two films, in Glabel. Print date is October 22nd, 1997. There you go. And I heard from some people that the third Free Willy film is not as good as the first two. I'll have to watch it to find out. Next up is the 1997 VHS of Wild America with Jonathan Taylor Thomas, Devin Sawa, and Scott Bairstow. Co-produced with Morgan Creek. Not too big of a fan of their stuff. Wild America is splendid. Thrilling, says Michael Medved of the New York Post. And this is rated PG for language and some adventure peril and it's 107 minutes. Jonathan Taylor Thomas from Home Improvement, Devin Sawa from Little Giants and Casper, and Scott Bairstow in this movie. It's got an ink label. The print date is November 25th, 1997. Next up is another movie I reviewed in my Christmas series of the movie review show. 
1999 VHS of Jack Frost with Michael Keaton, 1998 film. He's the world's coolest dad and he's going to prove it. Here's his spine and the back. Wonderful, says Joel Siegel, Good Morning America. And this is rated PG for mild language and it's 102 minutes. Here's the ink label. Print date is July 9th, 1999. This is a 1998 film released when Warner Brothers was, was celebrating their 75th anniversary. So that's pretty neat. Next is another one that's my sister's. It's the 1999 VHS of the Iron Giant. Here's the front and the back. An instant classic that will enchant Earthlings for decades to come, says Joe Morgenstern of the Wall Street Journal. The best animated film of the decade, says James DeGiovanna of the Tucson Citizen. And it's rated PG for fantasy action and mild language, and it's 87 minutes. I've watched this movie before, and it's pretty good. It's got a dark sticker label on there. I don't know why they put that. Print date is October 20th, 1999. Hold on. Cause <coughs> <laughs> Next up is the 2000 VHS of Pokemon the first movie featuring the Pokemon match of all time Mewtwo versus Mew additional Pokemon footage see back for details here's the spine and the back you have been summoned to the ultimate Pokemon showdown and guys, don't hate me for this, but I like Pokemon. So, if you guys out there hate Pokemon, then I hope you guys respect my opinion. The story of Mewtwo's origin takes place before the feature, and a sneak preview of the second Pokemon movie shown after the feature. It includes the mini movie Pikachu's Vacation, plus never foreseen bonus footage. Rated G, and it's 93 minutes. Here's the ink label. Print date is January 27th, 2000. There you go. I'm a big Pokemon fan myself. I play Pokemon cards and I also play the Pokemon video games. Next up is the 2000 VHS of My Dog Skip with Frankie Muniz, Diane Lane, Luke Wilson, and Kevin Bacon. Every family needs an optimist. And here's the spine and the back, co-produced with Alcon Entertainment. A rare, a rare breed, a family movie with a heart and a brain, says uh, USA Today. I can't pronounce the chick who said that. And this is rated PG for some violent content and mild language. And it's 95 minutes. And here's the sticker label. And there's a bit of a goof error on their part. It says it's rated PG-13. It is not rated PG-13. It is rated PG, as I just said. Okay, no harm done. Print date is May 30th, 2000. There you go. I know NWB1989's copy has the ink labels. Next up is the where's that? 2000 VHS of Pokemon the Movie 2000. One person can make all the difference. Here's the spine and the back. And it has the same content, and it has the same tagline as on the front, one person can make all the difference. 
Exclusive bonus footage, a sneak preview of Pokemon 3, shown at the beginning, before the previews. Includes the mini-movie Pikachu's Rescue Adventure. Rated P... It's rated G, actually, and it's 102 minutes. This is the longest Pokemon movie ever made, um, and it's the best in my opinion. There's the ink label. Print date is September 21st, 2000. And there you go. Great movie. Next up is the 2000 VHS of Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. First feature length Batman Beyond movie. Here's the spine and the back. As it says here, first feature length Batman Beyond movie. And there's a preview for Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. Seen on my VHS tapes of Pokemon the first movie, uh, My Dog Skip, and Pokemon the movie 2000. And I think it's also shown on. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I need to check again. But this is not rated and it's 76 minutes. I still need to take the time to watch this movie. Here's the ink label. Print date is October, uh, November 18th, 2000. But this came to video on Halloween of 2000, so that's pretty neat. Next up is the 2001 VHS of C-Spot Run. The smart one isn't wearing any pants. <laughs> Here's the front, spine, back. A hilarious treat says Bill Deal of ABC Radio Network. And stars David Arquette, uh, Michael Clark, the, the late great Michael Clark Duncan, who lives in... Kansas City, which that's pretty cool for me, because uh, I live near the Kansas City area. Leslie Bibb, Joe Vitarelli, Angus T. Jones, Anthony Anderson, and Paul Sorvino. Angus T. Jones is best known for playing Jake on Two and a Half Men. Rated PG for crude humor, language, and comic violence, and it's 97 minutes. Here's the ink label. The print date is July 26, 2001. This is co-produced with Village Roadshow Pictures. Next up is the 2001 VHS of Pokemon 3 the movie. Here's the spine and the back. And there's a preview for Pokemon 3 the movie seen on my VHS C-Spot Run. And there's a preview for C-Spot Run seen on this VHS. The Pokemon phenomenon continues, says the Associated Press. And it contains the short film Pikachu and Pichu. Rated G and it's 91 minutes. So it's not as short as, the, so it's not as long as the first two movies. Here's the ink label. Print date is August 1st, 2001. Right? And I'm going to show you guys one more tape and then we'll stop here. Then we'll go into part three. This is the 2001 VHS of Cats and Dogs. Things are going to get hairy. Two thumbs up says Ebert and Roper in the movies. Here's the front, the spine. In the back. Comedy Smash destined to take over the world. Features the voice talents of Alec Baldwin, Susan Sarandon, John Lovitz, Charlton Heston, and Sean Hayes. Also stars Jeff Goldblum and Elizabeth Perkins. Rated PG for animal action and humor, and it's 87 minutes. I'm trying to hurry up here because I don't want to go over 15 minutes. Here's the ink label. The print date is. August 25th, 2001. And this is a pretty funny film. And that's going to do it for part two of my Warner Brothers VHS Collection 2014 edition. And I'll see you guys in part three.